Okay, this is the uh, Prince DJ. Um, I mean, this is this is this story does make me mad. I mean, I normally don't do prize stories, even though it was uh, a month of this of that crap. I don't do prize stories, but this one really took the cake. Now, I was furious when I when I read that or when I heard from It's Jimmy, uh, when um Vladimir Putin actually blow up a church over in uh Ukraine. Uh that was the lowest of the low. Uh but there's a gentleman even in the UK and I got a lot of uh people in the UK that's probably still listen to the big D Don to this very day. Uh but okay I have to do a disclaimer first because uh, LGBT, LGBT, the, the alphabet is trying to get its way, and it has been getting its way, especially during Pride Month. They got people doing this crazy rainbow flag and you in it the wrong way. This is going to be the most controversial rant that I ever give in supporting a street preacher ever since I started doing the Big D Dome. So if you're LGBTQ alphabet supporter, please. And I mean, please turn this podcast off now because you're going to be mad of what I have to say. Again, if you are LGBTQ, the rest of the alphabet, whatever they come up with, and you're into Pride Month every June, please turn this podcast off. I have other podcasts where you laugh and enjoy and whatever. So if you're a synthesizer of the LGBTQ and you're not a Christian and you don't believe, turn this off now. I'll wait. Please turn it off if you're offended now. Please turn the podcast off right now. Okay, good. Have you done that? And also, please take the please take the children to another safe podcast. Cause this won't be the podcast for you, unless you're unless you're mature enough. Uh, I know the chief justice is definitely mature enough. I mean, he could. I mean, he could easily easily had take college classes now. He could easily take college classes now. But uh, anyway. <sighs> what I saw was pretty disturbing. I saw an interview on uh, CBN as a uh, Christian television news. And even though it was five days ago and then the uh, arrest happened last month, uh, last month, during, well, not last month because it's August, but it happened in, in June during Pride Month. It made me more, more angry. See, when I used to go to High Street, uh, High Street Baptist Church in Springfield, they have a lot of, they have a lot of emphasis on mission, mission and missionary ministry. And then the stories are so compelling that I love to go to an event called Missions Night. And, it's, yeah, of course, it's always on a Sunday. Uh, usually it's different, it's different times during the month that they have Missions Night where they have dinner. And then after that, they have the missions come to tell uh, what they, uh, how they do God's work in different countries, and and it's fun. It used to be fun to hear stories like that, and my heart was hurting. I, now, even though the Bible said Christians won't be prosecuted, uh, persecuted, still that both that breaks my heart to hear stories like this. Okay, I mean, my late wife was a Christian. Okay. And the person who I'm going to, uh, the person who is the maintenance person who I'm going to be at, at Galveston, the place where I'm staying in Galveston, he's a Christian. So I have a, yeah, I mean, I'm not perfect, but I have a soft spot for Christian. So when I heard the story, this really upsets me. Okay. Okay. So I don't, I don't. I'm not sure if I could play the video. I had tried it before, but it usually epic fail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the story on the marquee. I'm going to leave the YouTube, uh, YouTube story on the marquee, but I'll have to read uh, the description of the YouTube video. And it, it's already on my Facebook page. Uh, it's already on my Twitter page. And this, this, this just made me mad. This, this, really, this, really, uh, this really upsetting me. 
I mean, I usually don't. The only time I podcast is with the sheriff if it's in a hot day like this. I mean, we're in excessive heat warning in Houston, Texas, and and you better not be listening. Uh, uh, people on the LGBTQ who are offended by what I'm about to say. I gave the disclaimer early. You better not be listening, kids, unless you unless you're mature enough to take this. You better turn it off. I even did the Jeopardy theme. I even did the Jeopardy theme. All right. Don't listen to this podcast. There's plenty of other podcasts that I do. Plenty of podcasts that I'm other, that I'm going to do. Matter of fact, uh, I have to read. I have to do the. Uh, uh, I have to do the um, uh, aftermath of SummerSlam on t- uh, Monday, and also there's other podcasts on the twentieth. I will be doing uh, traveling postcards and. Maybe the exit is early because, yeah, exile early. Long story. I'll tell you that in a different podcast. But still, do not, I repeat, I'll repeat it till I'm blue in the face. If you are an LGBTQ alphabet, whatever, uh, supporter or loyalist, or you, you're part of them, don't, don't, do not. Do not. I know how to protect myself, but do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not listen to this podcast. Shut it off. Shut it off. And listen to something else that I do. Or listen to another podcast or or something like that. I am not supportive of you. I am supportive of the missionaries, the preachers. And people doing God's work. Not you. Not you. Alright. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Alright, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, this was from uh, YouTube. And, oh, I had to start all over again. Okay, so, I was looking at different YouTube videos. And then the video just... <clears throat> allergy. A video was just shown... Uh, was just... Uh, come to my attention from CPN News. And then I just I just listened to the full interview. It says cops arrest street preacher. Let me say this again. Let me say this again. Cops arrest street preacher for reading Bible evangelizing during LGBTQ whatever pride event. This is why I hate Pride Month. This is why I hate June. Because June is now forever known as Pride Month. This is why I don't like it. And I don't talk, I don't podcast stories about LGBTQ, whatever, uh, during Pride Month at all. Because I don't support that. I don't support that. I don't. I'm taking a stand, and I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I, would, I shouldn't apologize. For taking a stand. I shouldn't apologize. What I believe is right. And what's right is not supporting no LGBTQ alphabet pride of an in June. Ever. Ever. And I will not apologize. And I take back my apology. I will never, never f- forget of what I stand for. Never. Never. So when I when I saw this when I saw this interview. Even though I know that there was going to be persecution, I'm still upset. I'm still upset. Because I've been, because before COVID stopped me from going to church, and then it, it started being expensive to go to church on Sundays and Wednesday. When that happened, that happened, it's like, wow. Wow. I'm cut off. I'm completely cut off. But. When I saw this story, it brought me back to when I used to go to uh, High Street Baptist Church. And when I used to love, I, that was my favorite, favorite event, hearing about the missionary. That was my favorite event. I loved going there. All right. I had a good time doing that. So, and I think at times I did, I did, po- I did podcast some of the events before I was told to stop, of course, but. But still, I would still podcast, uh, you know, because those were those were good, good stories about what they do for the Lord, the work of the Lord. 
and what this do now this was in another country of course let me let me say that also this was in london england so that's why i said i do have uh people who uh listen in london england okay I was on the England radio, uh, radio, uh, internet radio, couple of London internet radio uh, stations, okay. And you know, I have a good buddy. I have a good buddy who is in London. So anyway, anyway, so I will read this again. Cop arrest street preacher from reading Bible during evangelistic. Uh, evangelism during LGB, LGBT, and they should have said the rest of the alphabet, pride event. All right, here's, the, here's what happened. A street preacher who said he was arrested June 10th and had his Bible and personal items briefly seized is war- was warning of, of worsening religious freedom uh, condition in the the uh, in the United Kingdom, okay. So this was in the this was in the United Kingdom. He had this in the interview. He said he t- he had his Bible taken from him. You know, usually the speech the three preachers will usually have a microphone and usually have a speaker so all to hear. I mean, usually hear about it like uh, there's three preachers in Atlantic City and there's three preachers in Vegas and you know just doing the, just doing the Lord's work. Just doing the Lord's work. That's all. Just trying to get people to be saved. That's all they're doing. Doing the Great Commission. Okay? That's all they were doing. All they were doing getting people saved. That's all. That's all. I mean, come on. And it just so happened they were trying to get people being saved at a pride event. That's all they were doing. That's all they were doing. But anyway, um... I hope I don't. I hope I don't make a long shot on his name. If I do, I apologize. But I'm just going to say, Ryan F., an American-born preacher, said he was ministering when he found himself in cops, uh, in cops' crosshairs. I went on. I went out in the streets to evangelize. That's what I spend uh, most of my time doing here, and. We chose to go to the city of uh, Can- Canterbury. Can- Canterbury. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a long shot, and I know that I'm gonna make wrong. But uh, please correct me on the pronunciation, my um, UK friends, uh, UK citizens of the country. But I'm sorry that I butchered the city name. But anyway, uh, he told CPN the uh, Faith Flyer. Um, Noting a young friend, a young friend who wanted to learn more about street preaching, uh, accompany accompany him. Uh, we went on a Saturday. Yeah, we went on a Saturday, and upon our um upon our arrival, uh, we saw rainbow uh rainbow paraphernalia, uh, pretty much everywhere, in the city, in the city center. Uh, as said. He quickly, he quickly realized there was a pride event unfolding, and carried on, uh, with his uh, carried on with his ministry. He found a spot to preach, and he began speaking about the uh, about the words in Romans first, specifying uh, verse eighteen to thirty two. Um, began to talk about. Uh, he began to talk about how God will bring judgment and wrath on society for sin, particularly sexual sin, he said, and did speak about the homosexual and LGBT agenda. Uh, the damage it doing to society, how God views this, this as said, within a short period of time, a crowd came around. A crowd came around him with supporters and uh, yeah, supporters and dict- uh, dictator, or in other words, those that uh, those that disagreed with him alike. Uh, CBN Billy Hollow Hollowed uh, Billy Hollowed had the interview. At uh, one point, 
the evangelist said he was having a, a productive talk with a member of the LGBTQ alphabet community where a handful of police officers came on the scene. And that's when the situation reportedly uh, report, report, reportedly developed. Um, and then... And then it says, "Here's uh, here's a story." So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the video on the marquee, and and then you know you make your own decision. But it, that story really got me. It, that story really got me upset. It really got me. Upset. I had to rant about it. I mean, I usually don't do LGBTQ stories. I really don't do that because I don't support that. I really don't do gay pride events because I really don't support that. I don't do that. I'm taking a stand. And as you know, even though I'm not perfect, and yes, I do curse. I curse when I'm mad. But I am a Christian, and this is why this story upset me. I mean, I, and both of these stories were bad when uh, when Vladimir Putin blew up a church in Odessa, uh, uh, part of Ukraine. But this story made me mad. You see, street preachers are the lifeblood I mean, the lifeblood of the Christian faith. Because sometimes the churches, oh, they make you get a degree in Bible just to preach at a building. And you you, you can't even preach unless uh, one of the main preachers is either away or not feeling well or yada yada. Or there was the main preacher that said to, okay, uh, you want to pre preach on a particular series. And then they get the okay. But was three preaching... It's supposed to be all open. It's supposed to be all open. Okay. Ah, oh, that makes me so mad. I had to come on and rant. I had to come on and rant. This makes me mad. This really, really gets me bonkers. So, like I said, I'm gonna leave the I'm gonna leave the story. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the video in the marquee so you can watch it yourself if uh, if that's what you want to. Ooh, that made me mad. That, oh my God, oh my God, why, 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 why? Okay, uh, so escape to big country dot com, escape to big country dot com. I will be at podcast movement on uh August twenty first. I will be doing traveling post postcard August twentieth. Okay, again. Uh, Traveling postcard will be August 20th. Then podcast movement will be 21st. And I guess I will be doing Exile on August 26th. So, that made me mad. That made me mad. LGBTQ, Prime Month, Prime whatever. Ah! Ah, yeah! Go!